the next session is uh, a eminent speaker that is professor dr sandeep kadu uh, just a, a brief introduction of dr sandeep kadu he is a professor and head of department of forensic medicine and toxicology a coordinator research cell dvpp dvvp foundation medical college ahmednagar sir has a vast teaching experience of more than 20 years he is a member of board of studies of maharashtra university health sciences mhs nashik he is a member of board of studies of dr d y patil vidyapeet medical in pune he is a member of iqsc cell pims loni has more than 40 research publications in various journals he is a resource person for medical education technology research methodology workshop of mhs nashik and executive member of editorial board of various journals daily medicine video consultations or daily radio uh, radiography or radiology where the terms we used to uh, listen to uh, but the acceptability of a virtual platform has increased in last few months or a few years rather one and half year uh i think uh, uh, there is no better uh, speaker to throw light on this than dr sandeep kadu who has a blend of uh, forensic medicine as well as clinical acumen and the topic is virtual learning topic is not virtual teaching uh, the pros and cons the advantages and disadvantages time allotted is half an hour over to you dr sandeep sir okay Uh, good morning am i audible yes sir you are audible okay at the onset i am very thankful dr rajay patil sir for giving my uh, introduction i am also thankful to organizing committee the uh, respected dr shailesh mohite sir dr pawan sabale sir dr sachin patil sir and all organizing team for giving opportunity to deliver this session on virtual learning pros and cons so i have planned this session into three parts first part i am going to elaborate on basics about the teaching and learning second the information about the virtual learning and third what are the pros and cons of the virtual learning so learning objectives of my today's session is identify different teaching learning methods state different virtual learning interventions understand pros and cons of virtual learning and judge the importance of virtual learning so my friends mere telling is not teaching and mere listening is not learning then what is the scientific definition of teaching and what is the scientific definition of the learning so learning is transformation of information into knowledge information is different and knowledge is different information is the data and data is converted into information why information is converted into the knowledge and for for converting information into knowledge learning is required so these are the basic thing so information is easily transferable why for the transformation of the knowledge learning is required and this is the commonest definition of the learning is that learning is relatively permanent change in the behavior resulting from reinforced practice each word has its own meaning learning is relatively relatively permanent change where in behavior how it can happen it can happen with reinforced practice means continuous practice the behavior change and that is relatively permanent so that is the learning is relatively permanent change in behavior resulting from in post practice and learning is done by three ways 
these are three domains cognitive domains means intellectual part psychomotor domains means skill part and affective domain means behavioral part so learning modifies learners way in thinking feeling and doing thinking feeling and doing are related to these three cognitive domains that is the cognitive then psychomotor and third is the affective domain so learning modifies thinking feeling and doing then what is teaching teaching is a process which facilitate the learning encouraging learners to think feel and do again it augments what three domains what are three domains three domains are cognitive psychomotor and third is affective domain in traditional teaching the more much more importance was given to the cognitive domain but in cbme as dr sanjay gupta sir in his session has been told that in cbme all three domains has given much more importance that is cognitive psychomotor and that of the affective domain this is the famous quote that i see and i forget i hear and i remember i do and i understand so this is the cone of learning very important after two weeks we tend to remember only 10% what we read 20% what we hear 30% what we see 50% what we see and hear like watching a movie looking at exhibit and 70% what we say means participating in a discussion or giving a talk and 90% what we see say as well as do means doing a dramatic presentation simulating the real experience or doing the real things when student do the real things 90% he remember so that the importance of a psychomotor domain and this is the cone of learning with this brief introduction about the basics about the teaching and learning i move to my topic that is virtual learning so covid 19 19 pandemic has positive as well as negative effects one of the positive effect that the virtual learning teaching learning methodology has been evolved one year back when lockdown was there and mhs and all other authorities have said that you have to take the online lectures we were very afraid how to use zoom how to use google meet all these things but nowadays and now you can see all are using and it has become our part and parcel of the life so technology has evolved and with this technology it has continued the medical education as all well as all the education from the primary school up to the post graduation so all has been continued and the credit goes to the virtual teaching and learning and it has also also avoided the chain of transmission because the it, the physical distancing is there also about virtual learning i say that it has become our integral part of the life how because whenever we have some doubt what we see we go to the google then type that and search for that so the now the google has become a guru for all that's why the virtual learning has gained a importance it is also called as web based learning online learning distributed learning computer assisted instruction or the then you know, there are different definitions of the virtual learning but i have taken one of the simplest definition that 
virtual learning is a learning experience that is enhanced through utilizing computer and or the internet both outside and inside the educational organization so it is the learning experience that is enhanced through the utilizing computer with or the internet and both outside and inside the educational organization and most commonly the instruction are online one it is also called as a digital learning or e learning these are the basics about the virtual learning so then what are the characteristics of the virtual learning so characteristics of the virtual learning first is the nature nature either is didactic or active didactic means the learning material is totally handed over to the student and student does not have chance to alter it while in active the student has control over the learning process as learning process you all there the active participation of both is there so either it is didactic or active then synchronicity and asynchronous synchronicity means this now i am taking session and you are all listening to me that is the synchronous type of the and asynchronous synchronicity means that afterwards dr pawan will upload all these on our on youtube and as per your pace time you can see afterwards that is asynchronicity and other example of asynchronicity uh, asynchronous uh, teaching virtual uh, teaching learning is that different courses of swayam courses nptel courses these are the asynchronous one and the third characteristic presence or absence of face to face instruction complete or full learning means that there is no at all the interaction between learner and the teacher while in blended or mixed there are some part of the virtual learning and there is direct face to face instruction so organizer previously has planned the hybrid type means some has the instruction but due to this increase in covid that the now it has totally become complete full learning so that is also called as a blended or mixed learning so these are the three characteristics of the virtual learning that is nature synchronicity or presence or absence of face to face instruction then what are the different virtual learning interventions non network computer based like you give pen drive or cd with a resource material in that student at their pace they will see learn whatever the information whatever the learning material is given that is non network computer based internet and local area network this learning takes place through the internet there are different system that is lms that is learning management system it is very important system it uh, consists of all the stakeholders of the education that is students teachers parents management so this learning management system you how to install in your institute and first there are the registration then there you have to schedule different uh, teaching learning activity then you have to upload the material then the parent can see the progress as well as management also can see the uh, teaching learning is going according to the schedule or not so it is learning management system another system is the moodle moodle this is the modular object oriented dynamic learning environment but all these are the softwares then the third is the psychomotor or skill trainer now cbme has as well as nmc has made it compulsory that skill lab should be at each institute so with this skill lab student first learn on mannequins or simulated patient the small small procedures like giving intravenous injection or giving intramuscular injection or the catheterization etc student first learn on mannequins so that after that they get a confidence 
and the mistakes which occur on a real patient that minimizes with this skill laboratory. Then virtual reality environments. So real or artificial environment is generated like that there is an accident, the patient has become unconscious, it has been shifted, patient has been shifted in ICU and in ICU, then the, you are doing indoor drug cultivation. So like that environment is created, but for this, the much more expenditure is required to set this virtual reality environments. And digital game-based learning, because the, uh, we are going to see the drawbacks of the virtual learning and one of the drawbacks we cannot assess the understanding and, we, and the interaction with the uh, student, but with uh, giving some games or other polls, this learning can be enhanced. So these are the virtual learning interventions. The non-network non internet or local area network, psychomotor skill trainer or skill apps, virtual reality environments or digital game-based learning. These are the virtual learning interventions. Then, as I have already said, that learning occurs with three domains. That is cognitive, psychomotor and affective. In traditional curriculum, all are there, but much more importance when we assess or doing the examination, that the importance is given on an intellectual or a cognitive part. But now, in a CBME curriculum, the importance is given to psychomotor as well as the affective, affective communication skill or ethical part related to the medical practice. So the cognitive is enhanced by providing online material like assignments, audio video clips, podcast, animation, etc., etc. Psychomotor, audio visual demonstration of the procedure, but virtual learning has its own limitation. For a psychomotor skill development, the it is up to the knows how. As Gupta sir has already told you, the uh, levels that is no knows how shows and perform but the virtual learning has a limitation in an augmentation of the psychomotor rate and the student only knows how to perform that is knows how up to knows how level the student goes and effective domain you can give a videos related to good and bad communication skill videos related to different ethics like giving an emergency treatment, showing some movies related to the medical practice. So with this, the virtual learning can augment all the three domains that is cognitive, psychomotor, affective, but it has limitation over the psychomotor. So what are the common modalities for the virtual learning? That is flipped classroom that you give topic to the student. Give them a resource material, like a recorded lecture, PowerPoint presentation, all student, in a, give them some time. In that time, they do self-directed learning. And again, in a lecture, when the session is there, a flipped classroom, you are only facility, you listen there. And if they are wrong, you only the, correct them. So that type of the classroom is known as a flipped classroom, smartphone. Smartphone has its own uh, uh, pros and cons, but there are well, numerous apps are there related to the uh, also important apps like the ICD codes, then growth charts, Purify, Docplexes are different apps are there. With these apps, students can learn. Clinical decision support system. So this is the up to date. Uh, there is a website and there is the confusion in the mind of the clinician what treatment has to be given or what is the diagnosis. Then he has to put all the material or whatever the thing they require, then he has to upload and they give or help him to take a decision. So there are clinical decision support system, online education sites are there, yeah, number of online education sites are there. Student can visit there, they can learn there at their own pace. Then skill laboratories, I already enumerated I'll, I'll the importance of the simulation-based method and become a part of curriculum. 
and it work on mannequins with a standardized patient examples are air management airway management resuscitation arrhythmia management cardiac monitoring scrubbing and placing an intravenous catheter all these student can learn in a skill laboratory so these are the common modalities for the virtual learning then the what are the advantage of the virtual learning advantage is the flexibility and age of the access yeah this is the you, you can have your own time pace at that time you can uh, watch that video or you can learn or read that chapter so it has its own flexibility and easy to access only on your tip of finger internet is there and so that with that you can access easily cosmopolitan nature whatever you do now these components it may be uh, it is on youtube so the uh, any person on a global can see it or a person at a rural area also can see it and the same thing for the urban area so it has the cosmopolitan nature time saving yes if it uh, the patient may um, might not be increased i have to come to the mumbai and deliver the so with this virtual learning that it has saved my time as well as the traveling expenses so it has its advantage stop gap arrangement like this i already told the importance of the skill laboratory so before uh, doing any procedure on the patient the student first practices it on mannequins or simulated patient get the confidence of doing it and so less mistake occur less mishap occur on the patient so it works as a stop gap arrangement and it also follows adult adult learning principle adult are so choosy they learn only which is beneficial for them also they has their own time pace so with that this virtual learning follows all adult learning principle including the motivation uniformity of the content so whatever you upload are uniform to the all the students so these are the advantage of the virtual learning then what are the disadvantage of the virtual learning hardware and software issues for hardware the proper that person is required for software different licenses are there again that licenses must be uh, upgraded so these are the problems with hard connectivity and this is the most important problem if the connectivity is not there then the uh, you, your voice is not clear and all these uh, things or the whatever the thing it becomes a mess financial issues i have told like this lms system learning management system moodle system it requires the finance so to install at your institute security and safety of a personal information one year back when we have started this zoom meeting at that time government also has issued that the, it is not safe it is not secure so it has its uh, security problem cyber crime can occur technical support is required you see it is organized here so they have made the war room if any technical they have taken my ppt yesterday all these things they have to keep keep in mind so there must be a good technical support for the virtual learning and what is the important disadvantage that there is lack of face to face interaction no emotional uh, connect at all no social interaction between the student between the student and teacher no team work feeling the student is in his room and he is alone he is watching the lecture and he feels that what he knows is correct but he does not have any healthy competition and that the thing and if the student is introverted he may become depressed as and i have already told that practical and clinical skills not approach he only knows who is by seeing the video or watching any uh, practical activity he gets that knowledge but to do real it requires the traditional learning and like that if the student first year student 
seen that how to do the dissection on a dead body but the real feeling when you take a incision you see different muscles different vessels that the different thing like our autopsy only seeing on a video is not when you go there you take eye shaped y shaped that feeling is different and it cannot 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 be uh, uh, at par of a traditional learning unable assess to really that student is listening or not many time and you all have that experience that you are doing the online students are there but no one is listening they are they only that the, uh, they on there but they are uh, scrolling facebook or whatsapp or chatting with their colleague so it's very difficult to monitor the uh, virtual learning these are the main disadvantages relating to the virtual learning these are different virtual tools like youtube google docs prezi cd rom slide share team viewer dropbox wikipedia linkedin blogs youtube blogs other author stream medical games whatsapp facebook etc 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 there are different n number of the learning tools are not now available so these are the different ways we are using that is zoom microsoft team google team youtube go to webinar these are the different the technology used for the teaching and learning so there is one drawback the how to assess or the student are listening or not for this there are different apps and i'm going to elaborate some apps that is mentimeter it is useful for pre preparing beautiful interactive presentation you can collect polls data opinions from the participants so you can make them interactive make them attentive so that the you know their comprehension level they are listening or not they have understood the topic or not and get insight of on a participant trends and data export but it has limitation again connectivity and it is paid then kahoot kahoot is assist to prior knowledge the student has increase student focus during the class and motivate student to participate by quiz polls puzzles capture valuable analytics to assess learning outcomes to progress and identify the knowledge gaps even it also help engaging the student remotely again limitation good internet connection various pricing and feature are there so it is again the paid socrative and engage your student as a learning happens with your choice activity type launch a quiz you can launch a quiz receive exit taker tickets or ask quick questions so that is the socrative app can help you then it has again the it is paid and it requires good internet connection peer deck you can make your slide again you can the upload your mcqs or small polls and why this dr uh, respected uh, shailesh mohit sir has allotted me this topic that i have made some squirrel contribution to the fmt subject that last year in a lockdown period i have uh, created a first uh forensic medicine toxicology digital or virtual museum of my department so this is the site you can visit that site i'm not going to do on a in a detail about this in there there is the museum tab and if you go to each tab there are charts there are specimen there are bones there are soft specimen there are fetuses there are cartoons so you can visit there learn there so student can and i got uh, happy to share that i got a, a very good response from the all the parts of the india all teachers contacted me and said that you have made a very good thing so that the thing and second thing is that i there is my youtube channel also and till today uh, that uh, uh, more than 10500 uh, viewers has watched my a youtube channel and i have uploaded not only the lectures related to the forensic medicine lectures related to research like lectures related to the medical education technology like uh, how to uh, make a lecture interactive 
communication skill etc it's also some motivation motivational lecture like how to stay happy all this if you have time you can visit my youtube channel also so with all this i conclude that interaction and repetition are the cornerstones for the learning and in traditional learning there is more human environment and it has chances of more interaction but less chances of the repetition there are more chances of the repetition in virtual learning but less chances of the interaction so there are the pros and cons so traditional learning as well as virtual learning has its own pros and cons own advantage and the limitations and no single method is best so you can use blended teaching learning method means integration of both traditional as well as that of the virtual learning if both are there then the quality of learning will increase taking opportunity of this my topic i suggest whenever there is next our forensic on 2021 in that it should yeah, be kadu sir uh, there is a request yeah. the time is almost over and the next speaker is... yes sir yes sir only 2 minutes sir only 2 minutes yes sir uh, i request that the next components both should be used that is the face to face interaction as well as one or two lectures of some international as well as national faculties so that the quality of a uh, conference will increase and the last sentence of today's my session is irrespective of how much advanced online learning becomes it cannot replace the real classroom experience the sacred teacher student relationship and fun of studying in a class with our peers so with this keynote i conclude my session i'm again i'm very thankful to organizing team respected dr shailesh moite sir dr pawan sable sir dr sachin patil sir and all organizing team for giving me opportunity for delivering this session thank you very much and i am so thankful to moderator dr ajit patil sir ajay patil sir yeah. thank you dr sandeep kadu sir uh, virtual or digital uh, museum is a inspirational one for everybody uh, and youtube your presence on youtube also that is something innovative you gave a elaborative and detailed talk on uh, also gave a panoramic view about uh, different modalities advantages disadvantages and um, updated our knowledge 